What is going on, guys? Welcome to the next episode of Iron Noobs. I believe this is episode 49. So I just ended off the last episode not too long ago. Went ahead and did some rune crafting. Uh, I did receive 57 rune crafting, and then also I got 279 fletching just while I was rendering the video. I went ahead and rune crafted myself 3,000 cosmic, uh, 3,000 cosmic runes, and that way. I can basically make a thousand of my staffs, which after today I will have a thousand battle staffs. Uh, that's going to be just something that I'm doing in the off time. So here's the goals for this episode. First of all, I would like to get my quest cake this episode. Now it's going to be a huge stretch because I have 206 quest points right now. I currently have 26 quests to go. So that's the main, main goal of this episode. Also, I would like to achieve 85 Slayer, which I am 30k away from 84, so should be easily obtainable as long as I can get some good Slayer gains in. Uh, thirdly, I'd like to get 59 Rune Crafting, obviously, so that I can finish off the Elite Clue that we started off in the last episode. And then I'd like to get to 63 Hunter, and that is just basically going to be to protect my Rune Crafting experience while getting... Uh, while doing my Tears of Guthix, also getting 63 Hunter will allow me to hunt Red Chins, which once I finish Monkey Madness 2 will help me out a lot because then I will be able to slam boost through some range levels, uh, and that's going to set me up for the Fire Cape goal. That's not going to be a goal for this episode. If it happens, it happens. If not, you know, don't be expecting it. Um, and then also just a little side goal is I'd like to make another 100 Barrows tabs. It's been a little while since I've done some Barrows. And I would like to um, eventually start going for all my Barrows pieces. So possibly may see some um, Mortania diaries being completed in this episode. Like I said, don't expect it. It's just a possibility. But looking through the quest list, I've already looked through. I was going to plan on just going straight down the list. But the very first quest on my list, another slice of ham. I need the giant dwarf completed. Um, so I can go and complete the giant dwarf. But what I'm going to start off with is... Currently, the last requirement that is needed for uh, a skill requirement for a quest is Devious Minds needing 65 smithing. I'm currently at 61. I've already done the math. I need roughly 2,400 gold ore to get to that level. I think I have about 1,200 in the bank right now. Let's check. Um, 1225 yes so I need to go and buy about 1300 gold ore which means I'll probably have to out some stuff in the bank being that I don't have very much money uh, a little bit under 700k so I need to go get the goldsmith gauntlets as well and be able to uh, go to blast furnace so that's what I'm gonna start with is going to the blast furnace getting my 65 smithing requirement then going down to the giant dwarf uh, completing that and I have about eight quests that are under uh, 30 minutes I believe possibly under 20 minutes yeah I have eight quests that are under 20 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and just start knocking those out I'm just gonna pretty much do um, quests you know I just want to get this quest cape um, so but right now I'm gonna go and purchase all my gold ore and get on the smithing gains and I'll keep y'all updated on those levels I hope y'all enjoy this episode as soon as I get this XP drop I should be getting the first level. There it is, 62 smithing. Can now make mithril kites. Unimportant to me. Uh, three more levels to go. I suck at YouTube. But they, I just got 63 smithing. Yeah, 63 smithing, so very nice. A couple more levels to go. Two more, and uh, we'll be finished up, so that's pretty sweet. Just missed another one. 64 smithing so it's pretty nice uh one more level to go i've got forty-two thousand xp left and i'll be able to finally get on the questing so yeah let's get this last level so we can get on the quest and at least i didn't miss the important one there is 65 smithing that was cutting it super close i think i have like four four gold ore left in the in the bank let me go ahead and uh check real quick for y'all uh, i had five I had five gold ore left, so that's pretty sweet though. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and start getting on some quests now, so hell yeah, let's go. Alrighty, here's the first quest of Mini Devious Minds. Blah blah blah. I didn't realize there was a cutscene. Oh, okay, there's not a cutscene. So let's get that XP drop. 
5,000 rune crafting XP. That's pretty sweet. It's going to help me on that rune crafting grind. So, there's the first quest. Let's uh, hit the next one. History in the making. A thousand prayer, three quest points. Use the enchanted key all over RuneScape. Visit the silver trader for help. Nice. 220 ca 210 quest points. Let's keep it going. There's Olaf's quest complete. 12,000 defense XP. That kind of sucks because that's going to fuck with my... Uh, my whip grind, but that's cool. I can just get 12,000 attack XP, but I now have access to the brine rot, so that's pretty sweet, man. That quest was actually pretty easy. I, I heard that it was pretty hard because of this little area here, but it wasn't really bad at all, so nice. And there's another quest done. Scorpion Catcher quest done. 6,600 strength XP. Pretty nice. Let's see what the next quest is going to be. And there's what lies below. One more quest point. 8,000 runecrafting XP. Man, I didn't even know I was going to be getting all this runecrafting XP. 2,000 defense XP, a beacon ring, and knowledge of the chaos tunnel. Very nice. 213 quest points. I've got one more easy quest left, and that is Troll Romance. I'm going to go ahead and get on that, and then I'll start the longer quests. So, nice. I'm smashing these quests. And there is Troll Romance complete, 8,000 Agility XP, 4,000 Strength XP, 2 Quest Points, and 7 Uncut Gems. Mm, looks like some pretty useful gems. And 215 Quest Points. That's pretty nice. I've got just a few more quests that I'd like to get done. Actually, I have quite a few quests that I need to get done. Um, but that was the last pretty fast quest, so uh, let's get on to the next quest. And there we go, two quest points, that is Eagle's Peak. Eagle's Peak quest complete, two quest points, 2500 XP. Ability to capture ferrets, access to fly to the eagles, fly the eagles from Eagle's Peak, 217 quest points. Let's get on to the next one, I guess. Another one. Alright, one quest point, 7,000 thieving XP, two wishes giving 7,000 combat. Oh, that sucks, I don't want combat, I want motherfucking herb lore. But that's cool, man. Uh, access to the local bank, that helps out as well. Uh, 218 quest points, let's get the next one. And there is an Hakra's Lament, two quest points, 7,000 crafting, magic mining, and fire making XP, and now I have the Camulet, so that's pretty sweet. I think that took me to 220 quest points, and y'all know the deal. Let's head on to the next one. And there we go, Grim Tales completed, 4,000 farming XP, 5,000 herb lore XP. 14,000 woodcutting XP, 221 quest points, meaning that I only have 30 more quest points to get. Man, it's been a while since I got in a level from a quest. I guess I'm I guess I'm just too high level to be getting levels from quests now, but there's another one down, so let's continue this grind, man. I'm, I want to just kind of just grind this straight out, so let's see if we can. Oh, shit, my boy at Wally right here on his, on his alt is hooking me up with the bond, so... Big shout out to that guy. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. And there's the feud done. 15,000 thieving XP, blackjacking unlocked, and the desert disguise. I don't think I really need that, but that's not going to give me a thieving level either. Let's get on to the next one. Alright, well, I had to come down to... Do uh, Tybalt want a favor 60% so that I can start my arms big adventure and I'm just now finished so let's go oh and by the way for people that say they have like so much trouble getting the probiscuous for your Karamja medium I got 15 of them so I don't know if I was just lucky or if y'all are just super unlucky but I'm gonna go start my arms big adventure Boom! There's the giant dwarf done. 2,500 mining XP, smithing, crafting, 1,500 magic, 1,500 thieving, 1,500 fire making, two quest points. I had to do that before I could do uh, my big arms adventure because I had to go do Tybo Wanai clean up and then make some super compost. So now I'm going to go do that quest and let's go. Alright, so I guess I'm going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Apparently it takes 90 minutes to make the super compost, and I haven't 
gotten to that point yet. I'm probably only about 30 minutes in, so I'm going to go and do maybe one or two more quests and see if I can then get the super compost. And there's another slice of ham completed. Ability to buy goblin village teleports. Eh, that's cool. I got the ancient mace now finally. Should have done that a million years ago, but there's 225 quest points. I am still waiting for the super compost to grow or to finish rotting so that I can do my big arms. So I think I need to do one more uh, quest and that should be enough to get that done. In aid of Mirik complete, I was still waiting for my super compost to grow, so I figured I'd come over and do this quest, so I was kind of already halfway through it. Uh, it was a longer one, so there is 227 quest points. Now, I'm going to go see if I can finally finish my big arms adventure. Alright, should be getting this quest completed. Let's see my XP drop. 10,000 herb lore, 5,000 farming. Very nice. And there is my arms big adventure complete. Finally unlocking this patch up here. That's 228 quest points. No levels in anything. Pretty close there. Um, yeah. Let's go uh, see what next quest I want to do. Alrighty boys. So I decided. I'm at 228 quest points. I could continue doing all these easy quests and leave Morning Zen Part 2 and Monkey Madness Part 2 towards the end, but I'm going to go ahead and prepare myself for Monkey Madness Part 2. Instead of saving it for the end, in that way, I have a pretty simple quest at the end. So let's do it. Alright, this is the moment that I've been waiting for for like the last five hours. The quest guide said two and a half hours. It was bullshit. <laughs> I've been working on this quest for five hours, like maybe four and a half. And I've been lag spiking so bad during this quest. I died like four times on the platform because, of, or I didn't die, I got caught like four times on the platform because of lag. I died like three times in Kirk's dungeon because of lag. I better not fucking die in here because of lag. Let's do this. Whew. Man, I ran out of food. I ran out of food. I got hit for 40. Oh, shit. That is it, man. That is fucking it. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. 25,000 Slayer XP, 20,000 Agility, 15,000 Thieving, and 15,000 Hunter. Four quest points. Motherfucking shit right there. 232 quest points. Man. Fucking A. And the Royal Seed Pot. That's what I'm talking about. Please accept this gift as a token. Blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure I get to talk to somebody else and get some more XP. Uh, 71 Agility. Nice. That's going to help because I plan on doing the Mortania Diaries later, but I'm pretty sure I can talk to this dude and get some more XP. Uh, I'll have to look into that. But there it is, Monkey Madness 2, boys. Fucking complete it. Yeah, so here's where the extra combat rewards were. I'm actually going to put them into range just because that'll finally get me to 80 range. I could get... Uh, an attack and a defense level, but being that I'm fixing to get back onto Slayer, I can pretty much just get that later on. So I'm going to go ahead and take that 50,000 in range. Could also use it on magic, but nah, I'm not really worried about that. And uh, yeah, so, and then I know I can like go get that monkey and all that crap, but I'm not really too interested in that. Uh, but that's pretty sweet, man. I'm so glad to have that quest done. I'm actually really glad that I didn't wait for that to be the last quest because that was a fucking pain in the ass but i've got 10 more quests and uh then we got the quest cape so let's uh head on to the next one. Oh, and just a, a side note the uh, worst thing about this is uh this guy i cry every time we no see neve and there is Mountain Daughter completed, two quest points, and a bunch of other junk. No, I'm just kidding, 2,000 prayer XP and 1,000 attack XP. I think that's going to be all the quests that I do for tonight. It's not the end of the episode, obviously. I've just been doing that uh, Monkey Madness 2 all day, so I'm ready to just call it quits for the night. And uh, I think tomorrow 
uh, I'm going to start off with mornings in part two, um, just because it's the last, of the, well, that and then Darkness of Hallowvale, just because those are the last of the longest quests that I have left, and that way, uh, Rag and Bowman's still going to be pretty long too, and, well, kind of, that's uh, two cats is too, but I think those are the last really long quests that I have left. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, finish this up, and that way I can finally get my quest cape. Mm. Two quest points, 20,000 agility XP, access to the death altar, and that is morning's in part two complete. Hell yeah. So, looking at what I have left, I actually calculated uh, my time wrong because I forgot about Rag and Bowman, which, according to the guy that I have, should take about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours. So, it will be a little bit longer than expected, but I now only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight quests to go. Let's get them. And I just got 83 defense, and my attack level should be coming one hit after it. There it is, 83 attack. I also did get 84 slayer on this. Uh, I am done with this task, but I wanted to go ahead and just go ahead and grab those levels and get the hell out of here. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I am finishing up my quest grind. I just wanted to get that stuff out of the way so that I could continue the uh, quest grind. There are all the easy tasks and Mortania completed. I'm going to see if I can't finish up the medium and the hards as well. I'll probably jump back to questing um, before finishing this, but I just want to get started on this. Alright, I needed to complete that game of Trouble Brewing, and that now gives me all my medium tasks. So, that's pretty sweet. Now I just got the hards left, and we'll be good with Mortania. Alright, so right now I'm trying to get a Mushroom Spore... Uh, encoding overloaded. Hmm. Anyways, uh, trying to get a mushroom spore from the master farmer. Apparently, it's pretty rare. It's like a one in four hundred drop. I'm pretty sure I've seen them on the ground before, uh, doing certain slayer tasks, and I just don't pick them up. So that kind of sucks. Uh, so this might take a little while, and then this is gonna take about three hours for them to grow. That's why I'm trying to get them now before I finish the rest of the uh, items on the task because I don't want to get all the way there and then have to wait three hours but being that I'm going to be doing questing anyways uh, I want to go ahead and get them planted so while I'm doing my questing um, I can kind of just run by and check them every once in a while because uh, I obviously don't want these to die taking three hours to grow so uh, hopefully uh, I'm probably going to get like two or three of them just in case uh, if it doesn't take too too long and that way if they do die uh, I'm able to get them back so uh, yeah I'll let y'all know how that goes all right, so I got the spore. I already planted it. I almost got a thieving level. Um, yeah, 8k away, almost 9k away. So pff, I didn't end up getting the two, but hopefully that one doesn't die. I'm going to end up going to work while it's planted. So ugh, I hope it doesn't die, but I'm going to try to do some more of these other things, get them out of the way, and uh, hopefully we can have our Mortania hearts done. And then when I get home from work today, we can possibly get our quest cape tonight. So we'll find out. Alrighty, boys, this is it. Should be one watermelon. Uh, congratulations, you've completed all the hard tasks in the Mortania dungeon or area. So let's go get those Canifis or Bergderot legs three. Mort Mortania legs three? Yeah, whatever they're called. Let's go get them. Alright, so I've upgraded your Mortania Lex for you. You can now pick double Mortmire Fungus. That's going to be sweet for Herb Lore. Uh, get more experience burning shades. Access to a shortcut on Mostly Harmless. Receive more runes from Barrows. And Robin will exchange more bone meal for bones each day. The disciples at the Ecto Functus have something for you too. That's pretty sweet. Yes. Oh, I guess I'll show y'all me putting... Oh, this XP into Herblore, I believe. Uh, I'm 2,500. I lagged for a minute. I was like, what's going on? There's 2,500. There's 7,500. And I believe this one is 15K. 15K. Nice. 46K away from another Herblore level. But that's pretty sweet. Check this out. Bird to rot. Oh, that's pretty nice. Right there next to the bank. That's pretty sweet. Um, I'll probably... I probably won't use this for, like, 
teleporting to Bellrose, but it's going to be pretty nice. Um, the devil runes and everything. And then if you see, I've already got 78 dark essence blocks. I'm going to get another 100, make the 100 Barrows tabs, and then that'll knock out the little Barrows tab goal that I had for this episode while working on the uh, quest cape. That's pretty sweet, though. I like it. And there is Cold War quest completed. That was a pretty funny quest. Uh, I'm just going to continue on to this quest grind and see if I can't finally get my cape. And there's Between a Rock completed. 5,000 smithing. Oh, and I got a ring pick. Nice. That's pretty nice. Um, the next quest should be the Great Brain Robbery. Alright, so I way over prepped for this quest. Uh, I thought the boss was going to be a lot harder than he was, but I actually had to eat food to pick up the anchor. And this should be the end of the quest here, I'm hoping. Here's a blessed lamp, that's nice, cool. Here, what? Uh, so, there we go. 6,000 prayer XP, 2,000 construction, and 3,000 crafting. And I get the, uh, I don't know what the prayer book's for. That's junk, I can put this wherever I want. Hell yeah, herbore. How much? 5,000. Nice. Let's uh, get on to the next quest. Oh my fucking gosh. Finally. That should be the last bone. Let me talk to this bastard. That's, that's it, right? That's all of them? Yes? No? Oh my god, the cave goblin bone. It's still in the bank. I have it, but it's still in the bank. That blows dick. Damn it, this clip's ruined. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. This should be the last fucking bone, you dickhead motherfucker. Oh, man, I hated this. this uh, I would probably rather do uh, Monkey Madness 2 again, honestly, man. I, I hated this, but there's that... Uh, Rag and Bone Man, second part done, another 5,000 uh, Prayer XP. I'm just talking to this dude here about Monkey Madness 2. Uh, he's he's hoping that it takes two and a half hours, uh, like Slayer Music's guide said. And that's what I was hoping to, but it, it took forever. But uh, I've got Darkness of Hallowell, Forgettable Tale, uh, Taibo Wanai Trio, and A Tale of Two Cats left. Let's go fucking get these quests. And there's Darkness of Hallavel complete, 7k agility, 6k thieving, 2k construction, Tome of Experience, 3 chapters, 2 times each, and 2 quest points. I now only have 3 quests to go. Let's go knock them out. Alright, so this should be the f finish of A Tale of Two Cats, so that's going to be pretty nice. I should be getting 2 experience lamps that will be giving me... I think 2,500 XP each, yep, in Herbor, so that's pretty nice, very nice, and I'm going to go do the Forgettable Tale of the Drunken Dwarf now. Okay, so it looks like Forgettable Tale of a Drunken Dwarf is actually going to be my last quest. Uh, I'm just looking at the quest guide, and I've got to do something for 20 minutes while I wait for Kelda Hops to grow. Um... So while I'm waiting for that, I'll go do Tybor One-Eye Trio, which means Forgettable Tale will be my last quest. So I'm going to go ahead and start it, get to that point, and then go do Tybor One-Eye Trio. Fuck yeah, Tybor One-Eye Trio quest complete. I got to go down and get the XP. Yeah, you should go see my sons to get your fucking XP. That's right, you lazy sacks of shit. Can't just give it to me. Oh, wait. One more quest. One more more quest. I'm at 249 quest points. I'm going to grab all my XP and then I'm going to go and finish up that forgotten tale. What a quest to end it on. Me and my boys just sitting around getting tanked. That's what the hell I'm talking about. I could tell you tales all day, no lar. But at the end of the day, I got a cape to go get, man. And there it is. I'm gonna run down, pick up my quest cape. Oh, and I just got 59 farming. Sweet. Well, it ain't a 99. But man, that is fucking nice. Hell yeah. 
Now I can finally get back to rune crafting. Um, trying to get to 59 so I can make my double cosmics and then get back on my slayer grind. Hell yeah. It's obviously not the best, 118 tiers, but I know I'm gonna always get over 100 now, and there's 58 rune crafting. So one more rune crafting level to go, which I'll get making my cosmics, and then I'll be able to start making does double cosmics. That's pretty sweet. I'll see y'all in the next clip. Alrighty, guys. So now that I have the quest cape finally complete. Uh, now I've got a lot of cosmic runes to make basically uh, since I've been doing the quest grind I haven't been doing any of my herb runs any um, any slay or nothing so I'm like completely broke I have like 100k in the bank right now I have about 1100 staffs to make so I already have the cosmics ready to make all those I'm just trying to go ahead and finish getting 59 rune crafting before I decide to get off of the cosmics which is basically about another 2500 or so uh cosmic runes from where i'm at so that's what's going on there basically just going to be grinding this out until i can complete all of my cosmics i may go ahead and stop for a little bit i'm at 3400 uh, and like i said i have 1157 staffs to make but i need to still make fire battles or fire orbs basically what i want to try to do is get to the point to where i can i'm not going to do all 7500 of these um, but i want to basically get to the point where i'm able to uh, make doubles double cosmics and then make about 2000 staffs and that way uh, I'm able to actually basically maintain quite a bit of money so there's that I'm lagging uh, there's that right now I mean this is basically going to be life after after quest cape so also um, even though I have all of this and it looks sick as hell being all green I do still have the mini quest down at the bottom which I need to do uh, curse of the empty lord anyways for the master clue I have that's going to be later on stuff that I do so don't think that I'm not going to be finishing all this stuff too um, but basically I'm just trying to get to 59 rune crafting at the moment and that way I can get back to uh, I can actually make all some money so I'm not sitting there stressing out about not having any GP to buy my daily battle staffs and then pretty much going to get back to some slayers so I'll let y'all know when I've decided to uh, either a stop um, rune crafting or once I get to 59 all right so this is actually gonna be the last task needed for the medium arty tasks now I wasn't doing this for um, I wasn't doing it really for the cape it's actually for the 7500 XP lamp so that I can throw it into my rune crafting and finally get to 59 rune crafting so I'll show y'all once I get that level and there's a 7500 rune crafting giving me 59 rune crafting I can now craft double cosmics and that's what I've been waiting on so I did get to about 5000 cosmics already crafted I believe I have about 5000 or so pure essence left so technically that's about uh, let me think that's roughly about 10,000 essence I believe let me see what I got left here in the bank Oh no, I've almost got about 6,000, so that's pretty nice. That's going to help me out quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go do that real quick for my Elite that I had, and we'll see what we get as the next step. Alrighty, fellas, we got the Elite Casket here in the inventory. I'm hoping it's something good. It is not. It's horrible. Onyx Bolt Tips, pretty shit. Uh, 38k, that's probably like the shittiest fucking shittiest loot ever it says 130k but uh, i think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off there got massive massive gains this episode finally got the quest cape uh it's pretty sweet i love it i've been using the crap out of it so much already um total 1732 i've got 18 more levels before i unlock the last world uh, or before the 2k world obviously but um, yeah, if y'all like this episode, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and leave any comments or criticism or constructive criticism down in the comment section below. And just remember, this is Iron Oops, saying peace.